Hi everyone, my name is Jessica Roberts. I'm the Director of Data Insights and Client Engagements at CCS Fundraising. I'm excited to walk through how to create an RFM segmentation tool to help you identify your top prospects. RFM analysis is a prospecting technique used to determine quantitatively who are your strongest prospects by examining recency or the last gift date someone has given to your institution, frequency, the total number of gifts made to your organization, and finally, monetary, a donor's total giving to your institution. Before we get started with the RFM scores, we suggest creating a time frame. For example, would you like to look at the last 10 years or lifetime donations to your organization? Once you've defined your time frame, you want to export your data from your database into an Excel file. At a minimum, you want the following columns to create RFM scores. ID, first name, last name, last gift date, total number of gifts, and total giving. When you export your data, remember to remove deceased individuals and non-donors, since we only give RFM scores to donors and people that are non-deceased. We will then assign scores for each, the R, the F, and the M. And to create the scores, we will identify a ranking number, for example, one to 10, with 10 being the highest for each, the R, the F, and the M perimeter. From there, we'll sum the scores. The three scores will come together in an RFM total column. The RFM total will have scores that range from 30 to three where 30 is the highest and three is the lowest. An individual will receive a 30 if they received a 10 for each the R, the F, and the M. Once we've created the RFM totals, we wanna to double check our work. And from there, we're going to prioritize high scores. For illustrative purposes, if a donor scores a 15 or higher, then they will be considered part of the top 50% of RFM scores. Okay, let's get started. Our first step is to look at the ex simple Excel file you would have downloaded from your CRM to create four different columns in your data set. You can see that I've created these fields in teal and blue. The first one being the recency score, the second being the frequency score, and the third being the monetary score. And finally, once we find the R, the F, and the M, we'll be looking at summing up these scores to find the RFM total. To find the RFM scores, we're going to create a VLOOKUP. To do this, we're going to create a legend for ourselves. The legend will be the place where we determine different values for the different RFM scores. For example, if you're a small organization, a $500 donation might receive a high value for the monetary score. If you're a large organization, a $500,000 donation might receive a high value for the monetary score. Let's pretend that I work at a mid-sized organization that started in 1990. For illustrative purposes, I'm going to copy and paste values that would fit my organization. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste in the recency and the score for the R. And do the same thing for frequency and the score for the F. And then finally, the RFM monetary score. An individual will receive a score from one to 10 for the recency value. In this example, the highest value of 10 is for those who have made a gift since January 1st, 2020. The lowest value is for someone who has donated prior to 1980. Just like recency, an individual will receive a score from one to 10 for the frequency value. In this example, the highest value is 30 gifts. So that means that someone will receive a 10 if they've made 30 gifts or more in their lifetime. Monetary, again, is just like recency and frequency. It shows an individual will receive a score from one to 10 for the monetary value. In this example, the highest value is 100,000. So if someone has given a gift of greater than 100,000, 
then they will receive a score of 10. Now that we've created the legend for the score values, we're going to create the VLOOKUP. So for this, we're going to be highlighting the table for the R, the F, and the M, and we're going to be right-clicking and defining the name to do the VLOOKUP. So first, we have recency. We're going to highlight the table. We're going to right-click, and then we're going to hit define name. For this, we're going to name it R score. For frequency, we're going to do the same thing. Highlight the table, right click, define name, and then we're going to do F underscore score. And finally, for the monetary, we're going to highlight the table, right click, and hit define, and make this M underscore score. Now you should have a key that is tailored to your organization. The next step we're going to take is to create the VLOOKUP formulas for the RFM scores. So to do this, we're going to click on the FX here. We're going to select the VLOOKUP and we're going to click OK. And the lookup value is going to be D2 or the last gift date. The table array is what we named for the uh, recency score in the VLOOKUP legend. So it's going to be R underscore score. And then the column index number is the second column of the legend for the VLOOKUP table that we created. So we'll put a two here. And then to actually make sure that the formulas are accurate and are created, we're gonna say true for the range lookup. So now we have an R score for the last gift date. We're gonna do the same process for the frequency score. Since we've already created the formula, we can copy and paste the formula and just make the R an F for F score. And do the same thing for monetary. Change the F to the M. Now we have values for the R, the F, and the M, so we want to create the RFM total. So we're going to create a formula that sums up everything, so sum, and then our recency score plus frequency score plus monetary score. Now we have a value for only the first row, so we want to make sure that we auto populate all the rows. So we're going to Look at this these, uh, plus sign that's white. Make sure it turns black and double click. Do the same thing for the frequency, the same thing for the monetary, and the same thing for the RFM total. Now you can see an NA is populated here, and that's because the toll giving is zero dollars, where this organization said that they did have um, some gift made and they did give recently but it's likely an error in the data because the toll giving is zero. So when there's an error in the data, you'll get an NA, which just means that you just have to double check that the data is accurate and then the RFM score can be changed. If you know how to do a pivot table, you can check your work by inserting a pivot table. I have copied and pasted here a table which uses the recency score in the columns, the years in the row, and the count of recency scores and the values. You will know that you built the score correctly if you see a diagonal pattern here because the oldest gift date will have a one and the highest will have a 10. So we see that right here with 95 having a recency score of one and 2020 having a score of 10. That means everything is accurate and you can also do this as a pivot table check for your frequency and monetary values. Again, if you're familiar with pivot tables, I have copied and pasted a table which shows the RFM totals in the row and the count of RFM totals in the values of the pivot table. We look at the top 50% of RFM scores, so that is 15 to 30 here. 
And I created this top 50% into another pivot table that shows the distribution of those that scored 15 or higher, which was 281, versus those that have less than 15 of a score, and that's 800. Now, you can remember from the beginning of the uh, exercise that we want to be looking at the top 50% of RFM scores. So to obtain who those prospects actually are, you just simply click on the 281 and you can get the scores for them. That's really it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, please email me at analytics at ccsfundraising.com. Thank you so much.